Once again, just like every other vlog, I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll just see how it goes. feed on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube as well has been clogged up with this new meme from the Avengers movie where they just kind of disperse away and I've just been thinking that would actually be kind of cool to achieve that effect in Photoshop. I actually have two models on their way. We're not really that amazing in Photoshop so I don't know if it's gonna really turn out well but I think they're just arriving now. Hey! <laughs> Zoe loves the vlogs. Don't you love the I vlogs? <laughs> Do you love being in the vlogs? No. For this one, we're definitely going to need a tripod. I completely forgot this about this tripod. It can go up, but then it can also go outwards. So I'm able to do portrait shots as well. Ready for love, ready for this. to the levitation one. We've got the stool and I need the tripod because we're gonna take one photo as the background. That's gonna be like the first layer. We're gonna have the photo of the model so that we're able to actually cut out the model and put it on the background just like the last time. I don't actually need the stool. I just kind of thought just in case. I don't think the effect is gonna work very well if I use something like a 16 to 35 mil lens because that's very wide angle. I want there to be bokeh on it. So I'm gonna use either my 70 to 300 or my 55 mil. The idea is if I'm doing the dispersion effect, I want it to have blurry backgrounds so that you can isolate the particles coming off the subject. Once again, just like every other vlog, I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah, I'm in waiting for somebody like you All my life, all my life, all my life Ready for love, ready for you Been waiting all my life for this moment Ready for love, ready for this Been holding life for so long, time to grow up so We just finished the shoot, got a little bit off track We just decided to go ham We just thought we'd get some leaves and just put it in Zoe's hair. I'm like here with the hair, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> At first, Tara was just gonna be the model. Zoe did Tara's makeup. Zoe was not gonna model, but I was like, Zoe, you have to model. Eventually, peer pressure got to her. So the takeaway from today's shoot, it was actually really fun. I love working with models. Usually I just take photos and get people to take photos of me kind of thing. I feel like being a photographer, obviously you're gonna work with a whole bunch of different people. That's what happens even when I do event photography. There's so many different characters and so many interesting people that I work with. But it's nice to just have some cool people every now and then that just relaxed and just go with the flow. In terms of the photos, I did create that dispersion effect on Photoshop, but it wasn't perfect. Because the thing is, when you're doing an effect like this, I think the background really has to be very simple in order for the particles to actually contrast on the background. If you look at these particles here, you can't really see it very well because the background's so complex. And that's why I ended up using my 55 mil lens because I could open the aperture right up to 1.8 and then that created the blurry background. So that isolated the subject a fair bit. But apart from that, yeah, like the one thing that I would mainly change about it, contrast between the particles and the background. It's still kind of cool though. Other than that, we just went around and just took photos and had a fun time. And it was actually really cool because I tried this new color grade, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I really like it. I've kind of increased the reds a little bit and decreased the greens a bit. And I reckon it's a really cool color grade. I might use it in a few of my photos later on. And a lot of this was just really spontaneous. Like a lot of these ideas weren't even my ideas. I was like, girls, you take me to the locations that you think are cool. And so we're kind of like, we we're all working together on the creative process of taking the photos as well. All right, question of the day. Are you Australian? Yes, I'm Australian. And I was also born in America, so I'm actually American and Australian. I have both an American and Australian citizenship. So I can live wherever I want in between those countries whenever I want. It's pretty cool. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys like this video, maybe click that like button and subscribe. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.